in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Is he whose bosom Allah hath expanded for the surrender unto him, so that he followeth a light from his Lord, as he who disbelieveth? Then woe unto those whose hearts are hardened against remembrance of Allah. Such are in plain error. Allah hath now revealed the fairest of statements, a scripture consistent, wherein promises of reward are paired with threats of punishment, whereat doth creep the flesh of those who fear their Lord, so that their flesh and their hearts soften as Allah's reminder. Such is Allah's guidance wherewith he guideth whom he will, and him whom Allah sendeth astray, for him there is no guide. Is he then who will strike his face against the awful doom upon the day of resurrection, as he who doth right? And it will be said unto the wrongdoers, Taste what ye used to earn. Those before them denied, and so the doom came on them whence they knew not. Thus Allah made them taste humiliation in the life of the world, and verily the doom of the hereafter will be greater if they did but know. And verily we have coined for mankind in this Qur'an all kinds of similitudes that haply they may reflect. A lecture in Arabic containing no crookedness that haply they may ward off evil. Allah coineth a similitude, a man in relation to whom are several part owners quarreling and a man belonging wholly to one man. Are the two equal in similitude? Praise be to Allah, but most of them know not. Lo, thou wilt die, and lo, they will die. Then lo, on the day of resurrection before your Lord ye will dispute. And who doth greater wrong than he who telleth a lie against Allah, and denieth the truth when it reacheth him? Will not the home of disbelievers be in hell? And whoso bringeth the truth and believeth therein, such are the dutiful. They shall have what they will of their Lord's bounty. That is the reward of the good. That Allah will remit from them the worst of what they did, and will pay them for reward the best they used to do. Will not Allah defend his slave? Yet they would frighten thee with those beside him. He whom Allah sendeth astray, for him there is no guide. And he whom Allah guideth, for him there can be no misleader. Is not Allah mighty, able to requite the wrong? And verily, if thou shouldst ask them, Who created the heavens and the earth? They will say, Allah. Say, Bethink you then of those ye worship beside Allah. If Allah willed some hurt for me, could they remove from me his hurt? Or if he willed some mercy for me, could they restrain his mercy? Say, Allah is my all. In him do all the trusting put their trust. Say, O oh my people, act in your manner, I too am acting, thus ye will come to know. Who it is unto whom cometh a doom that will abase him, and on whom there falleth everlasting doom. Lo, we have revealed unto thee, Muhammad, the scripture for mankind with truth. Then whosoever goeth right, it is for his soul, and whosoever strayeth, strayeth only to its hurt and thou art not a warder over them. Allah receiveth men's souls at the time of their death, and that soul which dieth not yet in its sleep. He keepeth that soul for which he hath ordained death, and dismisseth the rest till an appointed term. Lo, herein verily are portents for people who take thought. Or choose they intercessors other than Allah. Say, what? even though they have power over nothing, and have no intelligence. Say, unto Allah belongeth all intercession. His is the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth. And afterward unto him ye will be brought back. And when Allah alone is mentioned, the hearts of those who believe not in the hereafter are repelled. 
and when those whom they worship beside him are mentioned, behold, they are glad. Say, O Allah, creator of the heavens and the earth, knower of the invisible and the visible, thou wilt judge between thy slaves concerning that wherein they used to differ. <laughs> 